Hey guys, um, I decided to post this video. I actually haven't posted any real videos having to do with locks, though they do interest me. Um, this video is about this lock in particular. I don't know if it works with other locks. I haven't tried it, um, but I bought this lock, and on the back, you can't read it, but I'll read it to you. It says, Precision Pin Tumbler Mechanism for Resistance to Picking, which I found to be complete bullshit. Because um, I actually have a lock pick set, and I picked it within oh, 30 seconds, 40 seconds maybe, um, with a hook pick and a rake pick. Um, I decided to go one step further and see if I could uh, maybe use a shim. I made this shim. I was on YouTube and just kind of... It's got the really, you know, reinforced back here, and you just that kind of slides around there and pops it open, you know, right? But um, what ended up happening is the lock was too small for me to try this out, so I decided to try something else, um, and I made a key cutout, which is just made out of a Coors can, uh, Coors light can, and I just basically all I did was take this. I laid it on here like this. Let's see. Get a better angle on this. I laid it on here and took this pin and etched the pattern all the way around. And then I was left with, you know, etchings on this. And I just used a pair of, a pair of scissors, man. Just a regular pair of scissors. You know, and just meticulously cut it out. Bam, 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 bam. You know, and uh, what I was ent what I ended up with was this, which is just a key. Uh, very rudimentary. You know, it's flat as a pancake, and it, the back part I have it doubled over, and I take another piece, kind of make a tension wrench. I fold it up uh, the tin can three times on itself, and that kind of will slide in between this back piece that I folded up like that and now I got a tension wrench to make it turn and to my surprise I would say actually astound astoundment I don't even know the word astonishment <laughs> uh, it worked on the first try unbelievably so I'm gonna show you uh, hopefully it works again so I don't sound like a dumbass but um, yeah slides right in there I, try, I like to Make sure it's all straight first, actually. Make sure it's all straight so it don't get stuck in the lock or some other shit. Who knows, you know, what could happen. I don't know, but I like it all straight. So it's in there straight now. A little bit. Come on, yes. There we go. That's pretty straight. All right. And into the lock. The lock is locked. Show you it's a functioning lock. Put the key in there. Pops open. Okay. Functioning lock. Bam. Locks. Nope, nothing. Key back in. Turn it. Pops open. Lock it. Pops open. Okay. So it's locked right now. Okay. You slide this in here. It's pretty flimsy. You can hear the tumblers actually lift up and drop though as it goes. And it's in there all the way. Okay. As you can see, it's flimsy. I actually haven't tried to turn it like that, but I didn't want to ruin my lock. So now I'm going to take this tension wrench piece that I made, slide it in between that back piece, and then I'm just going to push it into the lock. And I'm going to go as far back as I can, which should go all the way because the things are lifted up. So and I'm going to pinch them together, and I'm going to twist. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe it was a single use. <laughs> 
Oh, I bet you I pushed it in there too damn far. I think that's what I did. That's what I did. Let me check it out one more time. Okay. Hold on. I pushed the tension wrench in too far, I think, is what I just did. To be honest with you. Okay. I didn't push it in that far last time. I just pushed it in a little bit. And hopefully this will work. We'll see. All right. Back in there it goes. Came right back out, so it's a good sign. Um, and it goes as far as it can go. Okay. And tension wrench in. And twist. Oh, come on, be yeah. You suck. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do it now. That's fine. Maybe a different video. Different time, you know? Oh. <laughs> I look like a fucking idiot. That's okay. It did work. The very first time it worked. Astoundingly. Unbelievably. But it did work. So. Whatever. Hello, hi. 